Right lads, what is going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another objectives guide. Now before I get into this video lads, we're also going to do a brief rundown on this team of the season, Maxime. It'll only take like 40 seconds um, at the end of the video, just because we forgot to do him yesterday. Well, we didn't forget we couldn't do him yesterday because my controller broke. I spilled water on it. I couldn't even log onto the game without it getting insane stick drift, so I wasn't able to control it or anything. So apologies, this is the first objective I have missed so far in FIFA 22, all right? And that was team of the season, Maxime, all right? I'm sorry, lads, um, but obviously we couldn't. We had some technical difficulties, but we are back today, lads, and we are going to be having a look at the Hoyt. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced. Hopefully, I am pronouncing that somewhat close to what it is. Now, he actually doesn't look too bad as well. He is Netherlands, obviously he's in the Belgian league as well. 90 defending with 92 physical, and he's not the fastest, and I feel like he's not going to be a card too much people will necessarily be completing to use him in their team, but more so they'll want, be wanting to get this icon swap token or the TOTS 2 token done. Without further ado, boys, though, let's get into this objectives guide. So first off, you've got score 20 goals in any foot game mode. You've got score using Dutch players in 12 separate matches in any foot game mode. Win 10 matches in any foot game, game mode with at least 7 in pro league players now i know i'll get a few questions asking davis what is pro league pro league is the belgian league so it will say bel1 um play 15 matches in any foot game mode and assist eight goals with crosses in any foot game mode now if you're trying to find out how to do crosses here is a guide and to perform a cross it is relatively simple all you got to do is just press uh square on your playstation or x on your if you are on xbox simple as now with this one make sure to try and score it first touch as well because if it does bounce beforehand it will not count and the beauty with, with this objective is you're just going to want to build basically like a, a team with seven belgian league players get a couple dutch players up front and once it is in any foot game mode the beauty of this objective is you can do it with a friend now if you guys don't have a friend that plays fifa feel free to get your playstation or xbox usernames in the comments and um you can try find someone to invite but what you want to do is just go on to play online actually no that's a lie you go on to play your friend um so obviously you'll have your friend's gamer tag i'm probably going to be doing this with my brother later on so i can help him he'll help me but you go on to play your friend and it comes up with your full friend list of fifa and if you do just add someone to your friend list they will not show up you have to restart the game so you invite them now let me take someone who am i using as an example you know what? i'll invite my brother now um so as you can see we've been doing this a lot he's not actually beaten me for 50 three times as FIFA, all right? He's probably probably sitting at home smiling right now, but no, he did not do that. That was me helping with him with objectives. So you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to invite him um, or your chosen friend. You're going to want to go ahead and advance, go into a game. Um, you can go into any game if you want. For example, I'll just go into a classic match. Then you would go ahead and invite him with the necessary team, which will get into the team you can use in a minute. Basically, you just have to have at least the seven Belgian players. You have your Dutch strikers as well, which do not worry. We will have a squad builder that you can use shortly. I um, mean, after you score with your Dutch player, then you get your brother to quit after two in-game minutes or whatever. Then you do the same for him. So basically, you could probably both get each other's objectives done in give or take maybe 30 minutes. So boys, this is a team we have built up and it does not have to be the prettiest team whatsoever. You've got the two Dutch strikers with the Dutch goals and you have got at least seven uh, Belgian league players. As you can see, the Belgian league here is 1A Pro League. If you flick to the right you can see um, under the nation BEL1 that is a league you want to use you need at least seven of them so you can use this nation you don't have to buy the exact players I recommend having Bodo and Malian up front for the Dutch goals and then you can just have any team it does not matter how good they are because as long as you're helping your friend out you're giving him a Dutch goal and then quitting and he's doing the same for you and repeat 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 12 times until you guys both have all of the Dutch goals like, like I said it'll probably take maybe 30 minutes a person if you want to get in a party with them etc etc doesn't matter how good your players are and you can just sell them again afterwards but for those of you if you do want the players names make sure to pause the video Bodo and Malian up front with Waldo at left mid Olsen and not even going to try pronounce that name as our two centimeters we've got four at right mid Ma uh, once again not going to try pronounce that name Mawasa 
Maybe I got that one right. Um, he is a gold rare left back, so he'll be quite easy to get. Diddy 8 as well, who looks like a solid card. We've also got this silver center back, who might be a little bit expensive. And remember, if a card is out of your price range, then you can simply uh, just go ahead and buy a cheaper one on the market. Because I'll say it again, it does not matter how good they are, as you're not actually going to be playing and sweating with them in this method. Because all you, you're coming up against a mate who you're going to be giving a win anyways. Lads, very simple objective. No, I said I'm going to recap over the team of season and Maxime objective whilst I'm here, and it is genuinely the exact same thing, except with a different squad. This time you want to... This time you just want to score using Super League players, which is the Turkish League players. You've got to score finesse goals in any game mode. Also score five outside of a box goals, which you can once again do against a mate, and win 10 matches with at least seven Turkish League players. So you just want to build a full Turkish League team, and obviously get a friend or a, a relative or Whatever, to back out of 12 games, let you score and go on from there. Lads, hopefully this did help you out. Get your PlayStation and Xbox Gamer tags in the comments below and happy grinding.